All right, here we are. Why do we float teeth? That's a, like the number one question. Everybody seems to have some sort of opinion on what teeth floating is all about. Mine is very simple. It's to reduce pain or eliminate pain in the horse's mouth. Now, pain can come from so many things, but the number one cause is the sharp points that occur on the edges of the teeth. Um, without a picture, sometimes it's hard to understand what those points are, but uh, it boils down to this. Horses' teeth are not human teeth. And just get the whole idea of human out of your mind. Just the whole experience, the whole pain, the root canals. Anything you've ever had done with human teeth does not apply to horses' teeth. They're made differently. They're made to grow throughout the horse's life. So as the horse chews, and he chews somewhere between 10,000 and 40,000 times a day. That's a lot of chewing, I know. But that's been documented. So if you can imagine the horse chewing that many times in a day, times all the days that he's alive, and there's a good chance that he's going to run out of tooth. The reason there's a good chance is because the way it's made. It's made up of a very hard layer on the outside and then a very soft layer and then another hard layer and then another soft layer and then a hard layer and another soft layer. So you end up getting this like ripple, there, there we go, ripple effect <laughs> on the chewing surface. Then it helps crush and grind all the uh, leafy things that it eats. And seeing that humans don't eat a lot of leafy things, although they should eat more, um, it, it, it's, it was designed differently. So as the tooth wears down, the tooth constantly erupts more reserve tooth over the course of the life of the horse. So about 25 years of age or so, they start to run out of tooth. And by 35, a lot of horses have lost all their teeth, although I've seen plenty of horses 35 and even 40 that have all their teeth in their mouth. But why do we float teeth? Number one reason, bidding. Horses tend to do just fine chewing and eating throughout their life, but when it comes to putting a bit in their mouth, it becomes painful. And what becomes painful is the sharp teeth, the edges that occur, uh, that dig into their cheek and it creates ulcers. Ulcers are like when you bite the inside of your cheek and you can feel it with your tongue. And you stick your tongue out there and you can feel it. Uh, I can feel those with my fingers. So um, I remove all the sharp points and by removing that, the horse is more comfortable and when it's more comfortable it tends to chew with more strength and that pressure that they put on their tooth like that will actually stimulate the teeth to become stronger and last longer and also and this is the part that a lot of people don't understand it allows the tongue to move around and if the tongue can move around safely and effortlessly it's healthier for the mouth because it cleans out all the debris and helps uh, the horse eat stalky or hay the kind of hay that is really stemming that a lot of horses leave on the ground. If you can get their tongue to move around, they can position the food a lot better. So some of these horses that aren't slobs but are spilling their food, uh, they can actually chew better when their teeth are no longer sharp. And one last thing, it's not how sharp the teeth are, it's the horse's threshold to pain. That's the most important thing. And I'll talk about that in another video. So to answer your question, why do we float horses' teeth? To eliminate pain, period. And that helps promote the health of the mouth, the health of the teeth, it makes it a lot easier on the bed. Hope that helps.